One of the more advanced concepts incorporated into the Bootstrap framework is the use of less for CSS management. You can read more about less here at lesscss.org. And you can read about Bootstrap's integration of less at getbootstrap.com. Less is a CSS method that allows you to have centralized variables in your CSS. So, for example, you could set a certain shade of blue once, assign it to a variable name, and then incorporate that variable throughout your CSS. If you wanted to change that shade of blue, you could simply change the value of the variable, and that shade of blue would change every time you've used that blue throughout your style sheet. That becomes incredibly valuable when you're working with Bootstrap, where there are thousands and thousands of lines of CSS code. However, to show you how to use less as part of this course, I'd have to teach you less first. And that's not really the focus of the course, unfortunately. I'm just focusing on building a responsive template in Joomla using the Bootstrap framework. What I will say is that if you have a deep background in CSS, you should certainly spend some time learning less and learning about how Joomla and Bootstrap incorporate it. If you want to learn less, take a look at this recently released course here in the lynda.com online training library, CSS with Less and SAS. And Joe Marini will walk you through how to use less. If you want to know about how Joomla and Bootstrap incorporate less, you can take a look here at this website. This is kyleledbetter.com slash J-U-I. Kyle Ledbetter is the Joomla volunteer who incorporated Bootstrap into Joomla 3. And he also designed the ISIS administrator template and the Protostar front-end template for the website. If you click on his link here for less CSS, you can take a look at his code and how he's put all of less together here. and if you take a look at Joomla's file structure inside of your www folder here in the back end, if you go to the media folder and you go to the JUI folder, you will discover here is where a lot of the Joomla user interface is located, including a folder with all of the relevant less files if you choose to incorporate those into your website. You can also make a less folder incorporated in your template side. So if you look at the Protostar folder, for example, there is a less folder here, and inside of that you can see the less files that were used to make the Protostar template. For the purposes of this course, I will show you how you can link to the existing Bootstrap style sheets. You can then override these Bootstrap styles with your own customizations by making a second custom style sheet and adding your overrides there. That's a perfectly acceptable way to manage your CSS inside of your Joomla website. And it's fine to do this with Bootstrap as well. It just means that you don't have the centralized variables for your CSS, so you may repeat more code with this method than you would with less. I would also like to see Joomla offer more tools for working with less. Right now, the less files are located in Joomla's file structure, but you can't edit them without a separate editor. Fortunately, you can still edit CSS directly in Joomla's backend. Furthermore, less files have to be compiled before they can be used. You can download less compilers for Mac, Windows, and even some compilers will run on your web server. However, Joomla 3 does not come with a less compiler as of this recording. I think this is an area where we might see some improvement in Joomla. So it could be that in a future version, less files will be more accessible and easily customized. But until then, I'm going to work with the CSS files that we've been given for the Joomla website. And you're more than welcome to go explore less and incorporate those files into your Joomla website on your own.